Uh, guten Morgen, everybody. How's it going? Uh, our work volume has gone way down, uh, partially because we're not taking all sorts of jobs. If it's not an essential job, we're not going to do it. We don't want to put ourselves at risk, our family at risk, and other people at risk just doing our part. Um, we're going to be wearing you know, masks and, and gloves for this job over here. Pretty interesting job. Uh, we're, we're by Beit Shemesh. Uh, I guess it's called the Sorek Junction here. Uh, this German Austrian company was brought in to, uh, to bore a tunnel for Mikorot, which is uh, Israel's national water carrier. They're, they're building a tunnel, a uh, 13 kilometer tunnel uh, to bring uh, water into Jerusalem uh, to meet the increasing needs. It's going to be Israel's longest tunnel. I guess by European standards it might not be so big, but for here in Israel it's, uh, it's a pretty big project. Um, so our job for, for this project right now is going to be making sure that the concrete fill around this like I think it's a two meter diameter pipe slightly larger you want to, they're going to embed it in concrete so they want to make sure that the fill is being done properly so they made a conduit for us we're going to send in our sewer video camera and uh, they're going to see if that actually if it illuminates enough and actually does a, a good enough job so this is our trial run if it works you know we'll do it in the future if not they're going to have a plan B but uh, come along for the ride and, uh, and check it out
right, so that worked out pretty well, actually. Um, they weren't sure if this whole uh, idea of sticking the video camera in would uh, work properly. But it was great. You know, they had conduit right on top of that two meter pipe. We sent the video camera in right to the void. We were able to see when they were pumping in the concrete around this two meter uh, water pipe, we were able to see it um, um, really go in nice and smoothly and leveled. Uh, they did a very, they're doing a very, uh, a very watery mix. So it goes in properly, and and we were just supervising to make sure that it would work out properly, which it which it did. Um, it's a two meter diameter pipe that they're putting inside of this tunnel, um, and they're embedding it in concrete. Now, in the beginning, when they were doing that, they uh, they put concrete in, and it started lifting up a section of the pipe. Now you have to understand, one of these sections of pipes, each section is like fifty tons. So concrete picking that pipe up is pretty is pretty just mind boggling. So with these kind of large projects, there's a live and learn. So they, they realize you got to first do a bottom layer, let it solidify for like six hours and then add some more. And that way it wouldn't lift up the pipe. So now this next section, they just want to make sure that the concrete actually was going in nice and, um, and, and, and going in smoothly and, and, uh, and, uh, and, a, and leveled all, all, all around, which it was. Um, they also showed me how they mix the concrete there. They don't bring wax, uh, wax, they don't bring in wet cement. They bring in a dry mixture. Um, with this whole machinery that they actually, I think, made parts of it themselves, their idea. They bring on a conveyor belt, mix the water in together on the spot, and they pump it up with these, pump it in with these massive pumps. Um, and that was it. So they're pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. It was a pretty cool experience. Wasn't sure if I'd be uh, claustrophobic or ca get cabin fever there. Uh, but I didn't. It was well ventilated and uh, it was a good experience and uh, pretty cool to be uh, part of a project like that. Have a good day, guys.